Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn a little bit about working with custom fonts in Photoshop. Make sure you've launched Photoshop. Now choose New from the File drop-down menu found in the menu bar. When the New File dialog box opens, type 600 into the Width text field and 200 into the Height text field. Leave everything else at its default setting and click OK. Photoshop will open a new blank document in the main document window. You've learned in previous lessons that Dreamweaver offers font choices in groups of three so that you can make educated guesses about how your web pages will look when displayed on a variety of different devices. The fonts that Dreamweaver offers are the very common typefaces that almost every device can display. Sometimes, however, you may want to use a specific font on your web page that Dreamweaver doesn't offer in a font grouping. Here's a handy way to use Photoshop to get around this problem. First, choose the Horizontal Type Tool icon found in Photoshop's main tool panel. Then, click into the blank document. A blinking cursor will appear. Type some text. I'm going to type carvedturtles.com. You'll notice that your typing is underlined. That will go away after you're done. Now, click and drag to highlight your text, and then you're going to use the taskbar below the main menu bar to adjust your text the way you want. I'm going to first change my font size to 60, and then I'm going to click into the downward pointing triangle to the right of the font text field. This will open a drop-down menu which contains all the fonts installed on my hard drive. I'm going to choose AJ1. You'll notice when I move my cursor around near my text, it turns into sort of a cross icon. This means I can now click and drag to move the text around within my document to get it positioned exactly the way I want. And then I just unclick when I have it where I like it. When you're happy with the size, font choice, and positioning of your text, click the check mark icon on the far right of the taskbar. This will remove the highlight and the underline from your text. By clicking into the Styles panel, you can experiment with different ways to format and decorate your text. To remove all the style effects from your text, you can click the white icon with the red diagonal arrow found in the top left of the Styles panel. You can now experiment with changing the color of your font or even try the text warp features. You'll be absolutely amazed by what Photoshop can do. When you're happy with the way your text looks, choose Flatten Image from the Layer drop-down menu. You are now ready to save this image. Later, when you return to Dreamweaver, you can insert the image into a web page and your custom font can be displayed regardless of which device this page is viewed on. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.